What's up, my Vina left? This is Miss Vina D coming to you all from Vina Entertainment News. <laughs> Look at that beautiful smile and her laughter. That was just for all of you who are sending me messages. Kenya looks sad in her pictures. Kenya will be just fine. I told you guys how strong she is. I don't even have to tell you. For most of you who's been following her for years, you already know this about her, that she's a very strong woman. And she'll be just fine, okay? As you can see, she extended her stay from Athens, Greece to Santorini. And since Athens is beautiful for come on. You say you go into Greece and we are picturing these white buildings in blue waters, okay? That's what we're picturing. <laughs> but yeah, so Kenya is still out there with Brooklyn. She was on the yacht yesterday. She's having a great time. You guys got to see the fireworks and all of that. So I'm just happy that she's happy and that she's doing good. Most of these pictures and videos and everything will disappear in 24 hours because Kenya did not post them to her actual page permanently. She posted all of this in her Insta story. And what the Instagram story is, is basically you can post things in there for your fans and your supporters to still keep up with you without those things being on your page permanently. So uh, you won't see these smiling pictures and all of that on her page because it's gone now. And every 24 hours it disappeared but I'm sure she took some amazing pictures that she will later on release but I just wanted to post this video I know I've been talking about Kenya a lot I'll show you guys that she's smiling you know Auntie Cindy always posting Brooklyn on her Instagram page okay she posts these beautiful images they're adorable she's holding Brooklyn smiling and this one right here Brooklyn look at those curls come through curls and she wrote, look who I found in Greece. She tagged Brooklyn. She tagged Kenya Moore, Baby Fever, Auntie, <laughs> Auntie Scent, okay? And of course, Portia is in the comments with, you know, some heart emojis. Uh, Mike Hale, such a happy baby, so precious. Yep, Brooklyn is always happy. And that's all you see, how beautiful she is, how she's, and she's always happy. She's so pretty. She's adorable. She's getting so big before our eyes, you know, and... The list goes on and on and on, okay? And so I'm going to go ahead and click Brooklyn's page. And Kenya posted these images right here. She posted three. This one, this one, and then this one. <laughs> Living that model life in Greece. Her baby Brooklyn. Brookie Cookie was uh, where the hashtags and Brooklyn out there living. Kenya out there living. And this picture right here, I was like, yes, come through. More hair care. She looks like one of those commercials, okay? I mean, look at her hair, has silky look, and it's just long and it's shiny. Just, you know, that's that right there is a perfect ad. Like, she doesn't even have to try. I'm going to read a caption that I posted on 
the uh, blog Instagram page for that picture. So I wrote, happy Sunday. Kenya wrote on that picture, self-care. So I wrote in my caption, self-care is very important, all right? And I continued on, look at that smile, happy that she's doing well. Yes, come through, Queen Ya Moore. <laughs> that natural shine, silky hair, courtesy of more hair care. And this is on, and this is on her day off, exactly. She doesn't even have to try. Um, I continue, continue enjoy your life she needed this escape and moment to relax and reflect and of course hi adorable brooklyn and tt scent okay so i'm just glad that kenya is smiling you know social media sometimes always tell a different story you know so all i can say for people who have all of these different questions is if you care about kenya and her family just keep her in your prayers and then move on and stop you know nitpicking at everything you know because for example this picture right here you know kenya look beautiful classy elegant just the colors against her complexion the shoes the place where she chose to take the picture, her hair, her jewelry, her back, everything in this picture it was everything. And the comments were all positive. This was on July 24th, okay? And you read comments like, I love this, a whole sleigh, yes, loving this, perfection, class act, nothing but amazing comments. Gorgeous woman doing a pretty girl rock and, and just all of that, right? But then you put this image on the screen right here. And this is Kenya crying on camera, wearing this same outfit, the same purse. This is the day that she went and filmed with her attorney, whether it was her attorney or an attorney that she found. And in that scene, she talked about prenups. Now, whether Bravo did the editing to look that way, we shall see once the new season start. But this picture was probably taken before or after regardless it was the same day that she went to talk about to talk about a prenup and whatever issues she and her husband was going through and this happened all the way in July and in this picture no one is saying she looks sad none of that the comments are all positive but now even though she's posing the same way and taking pictures with the same face people are saying oh she looks sad in her pictures so and i said all that to say i appreciate the messages and all of that keep them coming um however you know don't stress yourself trying to dissect every picture and nitpick and all of that because there's a lot of pictures on kenya page where she's not smiling even before the announcement and there are pictures where she's smiling all i would advise is that you know what you want to pray for her pray for her and all of that but don't stress yourself <laughs> you know kenya's probably somewhere chilling okay as you saw all right in greece having a great time smiling on a yacht okay so if she's not over there stressing herself about it you don't but i do appreciate all of the love and support for her now i'm not someone who you know believe everything i see on social media and be like yep that's what's going on yes i do investigate and put things together because a lot of people share a lot without knowing that you can connect the dot and figure things out but um, for those of you who believe in social media and it's like yes this is like uh, you know some hope you know she still have Kenya Moore daily in her bio as you can see and she still have a wife all right it's still there so there goes a little bit of your hope I know they're just words and Kenya can erase them <laughs> tomorrow and still be with her husband but like I've been saying from the beginning, until I see people in courts and I actually see like the divorce proceedings going on, I'm not tripping about it because we've seen it all the time. You know, these ladies go through ups and downs and, you know, then they get back together. Anyways, I'm not going to dwell on that topic any longer. I quickly also want to point this out that Kenya posted this image right here in her Insta story. You know basically about not giving an F okay go ahead and read the rest and with no context okay so of course people are gonna take that and run with it Kenya says she doesn't give a bleep about her husband a bleep about the girls in the red house for Philanta and eh, wrong could be right but wrong Halle Berry basically posted this right here go ahead and read it 
and she talked about this book and how the book is about self-love and you know basically you know not tolerating you know certain people that you don't want to be around and you know basically learning how to say no and it's a very empowering book so Hallie was just basically the beautiful legendary Hallie, basically letting her audience know this is a book she's reading right now and how it's a great book and it's helping her and all of that and Kenya felt it she felt the message and so she went ahead and advertised it on her page could it apply to anyone absolutely but just in case you read a headline somewhere Kenya Moore comes for her co-stars she simply reposted something Halle Berry posted and that's it she didn't say no names she's not coming for nobody so you know you know how the media always try to do my girl dirty so just had to clear that up but anyways let's go back to these smiling pictures just glad to see her happy smiling and taking care of herself that break was needed and guys don't forget to subscribe to the second channel the new channel my backup channel link is in the description below thank you all for subscribing so far please get me to at least a thousand subscribers of course i want more than that but get me to a thousand subscribers please and thank you all for the love and support and for dealing with my cracking <laughs> voice okay you already know live in georgia hot piling allergies but even with allergies i'm still gonna bring you guys content my friend i loves thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn on notifications so when i do post you where they're posted and i will see you all in the comment section remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless you